play dino you're trying to you're trying to try so much <laughs> uh does this make the you know, onto the battlefield tapped damn you cultivate damn you <laughs> so we can give the shifting ceratops haste but i'd rather actually can i can i not actually undo undo okay, fuck all right do it whatever I was gonna undo it and then leave it with reach so we could take out the Chandra Spitfire if need be, but you know, whatever. We'll deal some damage. It's cool. We have the Boreal Grazer that has reach, so. What's up, everybody? My name's Chance, and today we're gonna be taking a look at Naya Dinos. And this is mostly to celebrate the fact that we have Goring Ceratops back in standard. That's right, this 7 mana 3 3 with double strike that reads whenever Goring Ceratops attacks, other creatures you control gain double strike until end of turn. So, if that's not lovely, I don't know what is. Now, to, to play this card and to do this, we went fully into Dinos, and I wanna reference this before we hop into the matches. If you want to, to really do good with this card, I recommend more so playing it in like a transmogrify and haste sort of deck, right? Pull it out, give everything double strike. But if you're gonna do that, you can't necessarily go with the one one, so you have you like you need something, right? I haven't quite figured that out yet. Anyways, Naya Dinos. <laughs> Pretty much based off of this card and then Quartzwood Crasher, right? The dinosaur beast that we all know and love that is rotating with us into the new standard so we'll get to find all new combos and all that to play with it, right? It's a 6-6 six, six Trample that gives you extra dinos for the amount of damage that any creature with Trample does to your opponent's face. It's it's all in all pretty nice given we also have Garrick's Uprising in the deck. We have Rampaging Bronthodon, right? To deal just obscene amounts of damage to our opponent. And if that wasn't enough, we have Marauding Raptor. We have, oh, if I can find them, Nylia and Umori to help us reduce the cost of our dinos so we can get that Rampaging Bronthodon down from costing seven to like eh, five, right? That's more realistic. <laughs> Anyways, down here in the bottom end, we have four copies of Grazer to help us ramp up, two copies of Fire Prophecy to help us have some removal as well as cycling through our deck a little bit because as you can see, we have a lot of cards in the top end and if that's all you're really drawing, you're going to want to cycle some of those down, try to find the land, try to find the ramp, right? Uh, Scorching Dragonfire is going to be great removal for Planeswalkers specifically. It can still remove creatures and when it does, it exiles them, but uh, yeah, mostly in here for the Planeswalker versatility. Banishing Light is some good hard removal, and we're, we mostly have this in here to remove artifacts and enchantments, but in those games and scenarios where your opponent isn't playing those, you can use this for creatures and planeswalkers as well, which is why I really enjoy Banishing Light, right? Two copies of Cultivate to help you ramp up a little bit more, just in case you don't end up getting your Marauding Raptor slash Annihilus slash Umori down, right? Garrick's Uprising to give all our creatures uh, trample and give us the ability to draw off of our creatures, right? Kahira gives all of our dinosaurs, which coincidentally most of our creatures are, and our beast, which Grazer is, um, plus one, plus one, and Vigilance. So that's that's pretty cool, right? Nylia is going to reduce the cost of all our creature spells by one and is going to turn online into a 5-6 indestructible creature whenever we have Devotion of 5 or greater. Not to mention the fact that we can sink three mana into this real top card of our library, and if it's a creature, we can put it into our hand, so kind of some card draw there built in as well. Three copies of Shifting Ceratops, because this card is great and awesome and beautiful, and it can be given trample and haste and reach all in the same turn that you put it down, that is. Umori is going to allow us to uh, cheapen the cost of our creatures again, right? Whenever it enters battlefield, you're going to choose. Whoa! You're going to choose creatures, and it's a four or five, so it's solid for four mana. If you don't want to or don't have Umori, don't worry about it. It's not a huge piece. We already have Nylia and Marauding and Ramp and all that. You know, it's not. It's not a big deal. Uh, Quartzwood we talked about, Goring we talked about, Rampaging is a seven seven with Trample that gets plus one plus one for each land you control whenever it attacks. Which hello, if you're casting a seven mana seven seven. You might have seven, you might have five land, right? But even still five, you're getting a 12-12 with Trample, and then you have, you know. It's just nice to see some dinos stomping again. And then last but not least, we have the Great Hinge, which is going to allow us to gain life, give plus one, plus one counters to all of our creatures whenever they enter the battlefield, and draw a card. So, all in all, this is a tribal deck, and it is like most tribal decks, meant for fun. So I encourage you to go out and try it if you have some of the dinosaurs sort of surrounding this and all that. 
If not, maybe don't go full blown into Naya Dinos and do three dollars or whatever. Maybe just go for Gruel and sort of have a lot of Dinos in them, or go for. I don't really recommend Selesnya. If you're gonna do another thing besides Naya, go go for Gruel. It's honestly pretty good. Anyways, all that being said, now the way we are gonna going to hop into our matches and of course watch all the way through to so you can get the deck tech wrap up at the end where we go through those 11 cards over there in the sideboard so uh yeah hope you enjoy and i'll see you there gus phobia seems like a fine hand right shock this in get down the grazer get down the temple maybe this temple right so we have some white mana where's my uh oh, there it is I gotta say, I actually really like the MTGA assistant. It's it's really, really nice being able to just look over there because since I play so many decks, you know, I know not everybody does, but I'm a, I'm a content creator, so I play a lot of decks. Um, yeah, I'll tell you what, we'll go for the double green off the bat. Oh, yeah, we'll keep that. Um, but since I play so many, and I play so many, sometimes like I'll play one Naya deck one week and then another Naya deck the next week, I forget what's all in my decks all the time, you know? So this really helps me to like... Oh, yeah. oh my goodness. Things are just turning up Millhouse. I'm looking at the top card. I don't even need to be scrying. Just give it to me. <laughs> it does look like we're up against Mono Red, which is unfortunate, but you roll with the punches. You roll with the punches, right? We do have Shifting Ceratops that can come down next turn, and if I'm not mistaken, so can Quartzwood, right? If we can get a Quartzwood down turn four, I, you know, I'm not going to be upset. I'm really not. You're going to shock my Grazer? That's okay. He's served well. He is served well. No, no. No, no, no. What do you have one mana that can skewer, maybe? You son of a bitch. <laughs> Motherfucking skewer. Alright. You wanna you wanna play hardball, eh? Fine. We'll we'll do this. You wanna tussle, we'll tussle. Question, do I go ahead and get down the shifting or do I get down the quartz wood and then have shifting come down as a surprise wham bam thank you ma'am? I like the other the the latter, right? Because it's it's more exciting. For me, for them, for you. <laughs> Cavalcade. I knew it was coming. It was a matter of when, not if. I gotta say, I wish the win was a little later, but that's okay. As long as we win in the end, I don't really care. A Goring Ceratops, too. Oh, and we're getting close to that, right? We're at six mana. We only need one more for that. Quartzwood. That's right. Double. You better double check it. And you also better not have two forms of damage here, otherwise, I'm gonna be a little salty. <laughs> Uh, I wish we had haste scoring Ceratops. Uh, it seems I've overlooked haste. Though I guess you can't have everything in Naya Dino. It's like you're going for three colors. You're trying to play Dino. You're trying to, you're trying to try so much. <laughs> uh, does this make the you know, onto the battlefield tapped? Damn you, cultivate. Damn you. <laughs> so we can give the shifting Ceratops haste. But I'd rather actually... Can I Can I not actually undo? Undo! Okay, fuck. Alright. Do it. Whatever. I was going to undo it and then leave it with reach so we could take out the Challenger Spitfire if need be. But, you know, whatever. We'll deal some damage. It's cool. We have the Boreal Grazer that has reach. So, worst comes to worst, we have that. And now we have another 6-6 six, six Trampler. So, I'm happy about that. Another Cavalcade. You monster. Yeah, so this is going to hurt. But I think we might have them on the backswing if they don't if they don't have some way to give their Challenger Spitfire trample, of course. If they have some way to give it trample, it's a, it's a GG. Nope. Alright, well. I mean, either way, I guess it's GG, right? They can't deal five points of damage and, well, one mana, right? Beautiful. Mono Red, you had me scared. You had me scared. Shaking in my boots. Get him. Alright, so we're picking up a victory there with Gus Phobia. Yeah. Even without any ramp, I guess I still like it. Ooh. 
you know, some, sometimes your day just gets made. So we can go Marauding, Ceratops, Garrick's Uprising, draw a card off that, right? Sounds like a good idea. There's the, <laughs> there's the Grazer, a day late and a dollar short, right? I mean, I guess we could have played it on this turn and whatever, but this is okay. You awesome player, you, Gunto. You are just, you're so keen-eyed on when you need to remove stuff, and that was it. You're a, you're a true chap for that. I don't know what I'm saying at this point, okay. Either way, Garrick's Uprising, go. I guess it doesn't really matter if we play a turn, like, with the shifting or a, shifting after it, right? <clears throat> Let's just hope they don't have more removal. Narset. Well, now I kind of want to wait on the shifting and try to give it haste, right? So it can just plow into the Narset. Yeah, hmm, 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 <laughs> interesting, interesting, very interesting. And we can do that come next turn, so I don't see why not, right? We'll just we'll just play the Grazer and Kahira this turn. It'll be all right. Yeah, that's fine. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> but he's like double checking it. He's like, why didn't you play these earlier, you dipshit? <laughs> I have priorities, Gunto. By the way, I gotta say, I really like your pet. It's like one of the... Well, maybe that's why he was double-checking it. He was like, odd, odd. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, Gunto. You really light my fire. Alright, so... Now, why, now why would you tap like that, game? How about like this? What? Why? Yes, thank you. <laughs> you. Silly goose. All right, one problem dealt with, and we got a great hinge. If we can manage, that would be lovely. Oh, and a fable passage too. Look at that. We're we're ramping right along. So even if we don't hit the great hinge, we're at six mana, which means we only need one more for rampage and brontodon. Yeah, a little, a little ECD action, huh? Well, I'd rather it come out now than later. Oh. Well, that's just rude. <laughs> you know? That's just rude in all manners. Whatever, though. Can I still ramp here? Oh, I can. The last two. How many? Do I have any more cultivates still in the deck? I hope not. I hope that was it. <laughs> All right, uh, we don't really need to give you anything, so we'll just send you to face. Cool beans. Uh, I do. I still have one cultivate in the deck, so we'll have to hope we don't hit that. We have a 2.27% chance of hitting it. So, it's a little bit of a yikes, but it'll be all right. Do, 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 do. I hate how that thing doesn't stay up though whenever I alt tab. I'm sure there's a setting I can change to to make this stay when I alt tab. We'll play with it later though. I'll play with it later. Sounds a little dirty, but y'all know what I mean. Heartless act, you monster. And they still have three mana, which is what's really worrying me. They don't have the mana for counter spell necessarily. If I go here, one, two, three, four, five, six, I can still hit rampaging, right? That's pretty good. So yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Although I suppose if I'd have hit Rampaging first, Nylia would have got to come down as a creature, right? Instead of now, she came down as an enchantment. So she might have had a counter on her had I put down Rampaging first. But we couldn't have put down Rampaging first and put her down in the same turn, so. I, you know, it, it is what it is. Ooh! That would be really fun. Although, I think they'd be dead off of how much land we have, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I have lethal on board, so that's kind of cool. That's kind of nice. By bringing its traditions into the future. Yeah, there you go, Narset. Alright, so Esper deck, actually. I, haven't, I don't feel like I've seen an Esper deck in a minute. Draw and discard. How much damage can you? Oh, ho, 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 ho. <clears throat> <clears throat> it's 
spoke too soon. <laughs> I was like, how much damage can you really do with the with one card, you know? You bastard. <laughs> Alright. That doesn't turn you on? Fuck. I mean, I guess we could give this haste and that works as well, but... You know... That doesn't turn you on either? Seriously. Lady, come on. What, do, what does a man have to do to put you online? Actually, how close are we in all? We have four? We need, what, five? Oh, that seems about right. <laughs> All right, well, that's fine, that's fine, it's whatever. Ah, damn you, Nico Bolas. At least you have protection from blue, so you're not dying. I mean, hell, you probably weren't dying anyways. Let's be real, we have a Quartz Wood Crasher on the board. Grace here. We'll put you down just for the devotion, okay? But don't think it's anything more than that. Activate ability, go! Another Grace here. You know what? Act activate ability, go! Library, hello, yes. Oh, we did it. We got our Nylia online. Half of me wants to just send 10 damage at face, because we do that, we have lethal come next turn. What's this Nico gonna do realistically, right? Fuck him. His plus one is draw a card and we exile a card. We can exile a land and be fine. So. Yeah, yeah, that, that ECD sucks. That little ECD action does suck. But there's nothing we could do about that, right? What are you looking at? It's just four. Oh, not even gonna... What a... What a, what a lad. What a lad. I don't know if we're gonna be able to come back from this. Noise. All right. I think I think the game's over, ladies and gents. They got double. They not double Nicole. <laughs> they got the 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 brothers, right? Nicole plus Yugen. Are they brothers? They're related somehow. I know people have told me before, but. We'll, we'll see what we... Ooh. Just a land. Alright, so we say GG, we shock this down, and we we concede. That was a good one, though. That we oh, So close. One turn away. Uh, Zareen going to be our first foe for the day. Yeah. Yeah. Looks good. And by the way, if anybody's wondering what this big list thing is over here on the left... Um, that is MTG Assistant. It's made by Overwolf. They've made uh, literally a ton of apps. They've done stuff for League um, and other popular games as well. And their apps are always very good, very clean, fleshed out. Um, but yeah, we're hopefully going to be partnering with them in the soonest future. So I do want access to the Scorching Dragonfire. So we'll throw that down. Um, but basically, it's a great way of you know keeping track of your deck it tells you your percentages on your land and non-land draws it tells you your percentages on your colors um, it tells you your percentages on your cards how many you have left in the deck versus already have pulled um, yeah I'm not too worried about that I think we are shocking here to cultivate mm -hmm. Okay, pretty much good on all of our lands. This will put us to five next turn. Going down a little bit here. I'm I'm not so worried about the creatures they have as the Bastion. Alright. 
We're gonna throw the grazer out first, sort of test the waters, if you will. It didn't, it didn't hiccup on anything, did it? I don't think so. I think we're fine to play the Ceratops. It did hiccup on something. Damn it. <laughs> they must have resolved it very quickly on the Grazer. Heartless Act. Yeah, that's what I was trying to avoid. It's, you know, it happens. It's all right. Four, six. So we'll actually have enough for the Rampaging Bronthodon come next turn. Um, make me discard a card. Sure, sure. <laughs> I got lands o plenty. Trust me. Boop. So that's pretty cool, right? We got a seven-seven that can become a fourteen-fourteen with trample, unless, of course, they remove it. <laughs> We're dealing with mono black, folks. What do you expect? I guess I could have waited to see if we drew out anything else, but we don't have any way of really protecting our creatures in this deck. I guess that was a mistake. That's fine. We need a Scorching Dragonfire that Ayara anyways. I don't really need a Castle Garen Brig here at this current moment in time. I am going to go ahead and kill the Ayara so it doesn't untap and doesn't have a chance to sack that little 1-1. One, one. We'll get down the shifting and we can give it haste. Wish we could also give it trample, but you know. They're going to take that. That's strange considering they have the 1-1 one, one and the Bastion. Call the Death Dweller. That's going to be annoying because the Arc Fiend, obviously. Oh, we got a key here. That at least gives our Shifting Ceratops Vigilance and one more point of damage. We can also give it Reach, so we can defend against their 5 5 if we want to. I don't know if I can just keep taking damage though. I think I need to swing, but if I swing, they block it with the Lily on a steward and we don't get any real value out of it. So we got to hold it back. Got to hold it back. Arc Fiend Vessel. This game's not going so well for us. <laughs> but we sort of just fed them all of our creatures early. We should, we should have maybe been more patient. I don't know. That Bastion comes down and it's a time ticker, I tell you. Right, well, we're getting rid of one problem. <laughs> one problem at a time. That's the way I like to take my life anyways, so... Not take my life, you, you know what I'm saying. Umori, go! You're gonna name creatures. Could really go for, uh... I guess Garrick's Uprising wouldn't be bad to get us some draw going. I don't really like this because I know they're about to come back some way, shape, form, or how. That, we're taking three damage from the scorpion. Alright, we're going to call it GG on that. <clears throat> Let's see. Alrighty, you made it all the way through the matches and the breakdown and this and that and you're here in the wrap-up First and foremost, I want to say thank you huge round of applause for yourself And if you'd be so kind to leave a like down below comment if you have any questions comments concern And then of course subscribe and hit that bell icon if you're new here and you'd like to see more Furthermore, if you want to see us play these decks live hop over to twitch.tv forward slash dr. Spillick and toss a follow because we're live at here there and all everywhere kind of times and that's honestly the best way to find us and then last but not least down in the description there's a discord link that i highly recommend in every video that you go and click now on to these cards these wonderful wonderful cards that are going to make this deck better more fun or just maybe more for you right first off we have god's willing which is going to allow you to keep your dinosaurs alive like quartzwood like goring ceratops and yes you can play things like selfless savior and uh 
I forget, uh, Alslid, right? And protect your creatures in that manner, but Marauding Raptor will kill them. So you have two forms of Nye Dinos you can go. You can go the Marauding Raptor form, or you can take Marauding Raptor out, which is a dino and kind of a key piece in dinos, but you can take it out, and then you can play things like Selfless Savior and Alslid and all that, and they can protect your coring and your Rampaging and your Quartzwood, which you may care more about than your Marauding, right? Moving us down, um, we have Brought Back, which is going to allow you to, well, pretty much as the name implies, bring back stuff. So you get to bring back two target permanents that left the battlefield this turn, and uh, yeah, you just put them back on the battlefield tab. So for two mana, your opponent just board wiped a Rampaging Ceradon, or Rampaging Brontodon Ceradon. I was looking at Quartzwood Crasher. Rampaging Brontodon and Quartzwood Crasher, well, boom, Brought Back. Now you get them both back for two mana. Best feeling in the world. Ram through is immortal rate removal um, and allows you to deal some extra damage in the here's and there's, right? And no, that's combat damage. Okay, sorry, got my hopes up. Uh, Collision Colossus, great aerial removal, great at giving your creatures trample, and plus four, plus two is definitely nothing to sneeze at as far as stat lines go. Domri's Ambush is great removal, plus bumping your creatures up a little bit. Domri Anarchabolas will allow you to ramp up, so again, if you're if you're looking for a different way other than Marauding Raptor, or maybe you're looking for a way to ramp that Marauding Raptor won't kill, Domri is all in all very good in those situations. It gives your creatures a different, additional attack power, it gives you additional uh, mana that also makes it where your creature spells can't be countered, and it gives you the ability to have a creature fight another creature that you don't control. Uh, Clothius, you know, we've seen her for a while. She's a great three mana card, three mana, four, five, can give you extra mana or give you extra life while dealing damage to your opponent each turn. Just fantastic. Uh, Shadow of the Sky, a lot of your big, beefy creatures cost more than four mana, so it's actually not that bad of a deal for you to turn four, boom, clear everything, right? You might lose a grazer or some shit, but it'll be fine. And equally so, if you have a Nihilator, you're not going to lose her, right? So, cool beans. Elspeth Conquers Death is a great way to rem uh, remove. Uh, <laughs> yes, it's a great way to remove, but it's also a great way to revive your Goring Ceratops, your Quartzwood Crasher, and your Rampaging Bronthodon, because it allows you to bring back a Planeswalker or a creature. And this is why Domri sort of extra made the list, because if you're going to use Elspeth, I feel like you should have, you know, Planeswalker or something in there. Anyways, last but not least, we have Embercleave. If you're going to have all these creatures swing in, these big dinos, you want to give them trample because, of course, would, obviously, Embercleave is uh, honestly a pretty great way to do that. And honestly, 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 how many times can I say honestly? <laughs> Anyways, thanks everybody for watching. I'm I'm keeping these, these deck tech wrap-ups, these deck tech breakdowns short. What can I say? I'm trying to appease more people by packing all the information in as much as I can, as quick as I can, and try not to sound like an auctioneer because I feel like sometimes I get to doing that. You know, hey, 250, 250, do I hear a 250? And I don't want to do that, so... Thanks everybody, again, I hope this wasn't too quick paced. Let me know if it was there in the comments. Let me know how to improve this deck. As always, I love the comment section. Love it, love it, love it. I don't always get a chance to jump in and reply, but I love reading the comments. And if I read them, generally I'll leave a heart and uh, a like, right? Anyways, uh, that's gonna do it for this video. I'll see you either later tonight or tomorrow. Peace.